Welcome. I'm Jen Robitaille, the Elementary Mathematics Specialist for the Maine Department of Education. And I'm Michelle Maya, the Secondary Mathematics Specialist for the Maine Department of Education. In this video, we will provide an overview of the newly revised Maine Learning Results for Mathematics. These were adopted on July 20th, 2020. We'll first review the changes in the format from our old version of the main learning results to the new version of these updated main learning results. We'll start with the old version were set up in grade levels from kindergarten through grade eight and conceptual categories in grades nine through 12. You'll now see in the new version that they're set up in grade spans. They're set up for childhood standards, those standards that relate to grades kindergarten through grade five, and they're denoted by the letter C in the standards. The early adolescence standards are the middle school grades six through eight standards. They're denoted by the EA letters in our standard. And the adolescent standards are the nine through diploma standards. They are denoted by the letter A in our new coding system for the standards. We then look at the old domain categories are now considered our strand categories and we have four strands that you'll notice in our new updated standards. The old cluster titles are now what we are considering our standards for this new version of our main learning results and that's a change from the old version as those were statements that were made and often overlooked. They are now our overarching standards. And what we considered as our standards in the old version of our learning results are now the performance expectations. And those are still included with the common core coding um, so that they are able to be recognized when searching for support materials. So as Jen had mentioned, in our revised main learning results, we have four strands. The first strand is quantitative reasoning. This will be de denoted in our standards with the QR, and they encompass our domains of counting cardinality, number and operations in base 10, number operations fractions, ratio and proportional relationships, the number system, number and quantity. Our second strand is algebraic reasoning, which will be denoted by AR, and they include the domains of operations in algebraic thinking, expressions and equations, functions, and algebra. Third, we have geometric reasoning, which would be denoted by GR, and these contain the geometry domain. And our final one is statistical reasoning, which will be denoted by SR, and they include the domains of measurement and data, statistics, and probability. All four strands encompass the grade spans of kindergarten through diploma. How we read our standards has changed. We have our coding QREA3. The QR stands for our strand, which is quantitative reasoning. EA represents our grade span, which is early adolescence, which is grades six through eight. And three is the standard number. So QREA3 represents the third standard in early adolescence in quantitative reasoning. The adolescent standards, nine through diploma, have modeling, which is woven throughout the four strands in the high schools. The standards and performance ex expectations are identified with a star. Modeling is something the expectation for all of our students. In addition to our modeling standards, we have our extensions of learning. These occur throughout the four strands, again at the high school level, and these expectations are identified with a plus. It is important to note that mastery is not expected by all on these extension standards, but it is expected that opportunity is provided to all students to explore the content. 
our guiding principles and math practices are still part of our state standards. In our documents, you will see that the writing committee clearly articulated what these guiding principles and mathematical practices look like and sound like in the math classroom. So now we'll look at what the document will actually look like when you open um, to look at the new standards. So each strand starts with an introduction. And in that introduction, we see what that mathematics would look like in the grades K-5, 6, 8, and 9, 12. So we get an overarching view of what, in this case, quantitative reasoning will look like from K to 12. The layout of the standards has changed. You'll notice that the document has more of a progression look to it. So when we look at the layout, we can see here that we're looking at the quantitative reasoning strand. And this strand is always denoted by the blue coloring. So we've tried to color code each of the strands by its own color. Underneath the strand, you'll notice the standard is written here. So this is quantitative reasoning, childhood. So we're talking about grades kindergarten through five. And this is standard number four. In this standard, notice that there's no performance expectation under kindergarten or grade two. There's only a performance expectation under grade one. This means that this standard, QRC4, only applies to grade one. If you come down here to QRC5, you'll notice that there's a kindergarten performance expectation, a first grade performance expectation, and a grade two performance expectation. These performance expectations are connected across like a progression. You would need to know this information in kindergarten to be able to move forward with the first grade performance expectation and then to the second grade performance expectation. If you notice here, there are some gaps or blank space in the document. And that means that in this QRC7 standard, this grade three performance expectation is the precursor to this grade four performance expectation standard, performance expectation. However, there's no performance expectation at grade five that would continue on from this grade four performance expectation. Same is said for here, this blank space, there's no precursor to this grade four performance expectation in grade three. So there's a blank space to denote that. So when we look at these standards, we're looking at quantitative reasoning, childhood, standard seven. You'll notice that the standards within a grade span will go in numerical order. So we would have QRC1, QRC2, and so on. However, the performance expectations with the old coding no longer may be in order. You may see that these numbers and this coding may be out of order. And that's done by per on purpose for the point of being able to put the performance expectations in a progression order. In this strand and standard, we're looking at standard QREA3. We've moved to the early adolescent standards for grades six through eight. You'll notice that these standards are no longer by grade level, but are a grade span of six through eight. And this is a QRA3 standard and QRA4. This A is an adolescent standard, meaning it is the 9 through 12 grade standard. And you can notice here that this star denotes that this is a modeling standard. And when a standard itself is a modeling standard, you'll notice that all of the performance expectations underneath that standard are also modeling standards. When you look here, you see the plus standard. It means that it's an extension standard that was explained earlier. You can find more about the standards and where they are housed in a variety of configurations or arrangements on the DOE Mathematics Learning Results.
page. We encourage you to explore the page in addition to having our standards housed there. There are also additional support materials that you may find useful while you go to implement our newly revised main learning results in mathematics.